now you have sections next step after this part is to actually generate uh, but before that let's go ahead uh, oh yeah next step is to create uh, the volume report okay how much is the quantity of cut and fill for that we need another surface which is you know you have a ground surface here you know so we need a surface that traces these you know so that we compare the that traces the finished level of the ground finished level of our road you know and then it can compare with the uh, ground level and give us the volume of cut and fill everywhere throughout the alignment okay so for that we have to create a surface so for that just go ahead and uh, select uh, one of the select the corridor okay so we go there and in the corridor corridor option glow in the tool space and the corridor option we just choose this uh, corridor and you say you know uh, for this you just go ahead and say properties of the corridor okay so properties the uh, option will pop out and you go to the surfaces okay so here you see there's no surfaces so we go to this option the first option here the small icon we say which says create corridor when you over over it it will say create a corridor surface so just let's click on this and it will say create corridor option okay we will keep everything default and now we will add data to it you know the surface is there the data has to be there like we did with the points you know like we created a surface a surface and then we added points here for this we need links you know and the links which will be the top links we want the top of the you know uh, our surface so say top links and say plus so okay this is added so now your surface you, once you click it your surface has been created it will show here you see there is a change you know these are the this is the surface this is surface that has been created okay okay skip it skip and uh, now now we have surface but we haven't sampled it into our cross sections so sample line is not sampling that one so we need to add it so click select one of the you know sample lines and then you will have contextual option to sample more sources okay so click on the sample more surface and here you have corridor you know surface and you say add so this is added and this is what our finished surface so we can we can we can you know uh, change this style to finish so that we can distinguish between the existing and the finished surface the ground surface and okay now you say apply or okay okay or apply no problem it will actually apply it and now hit escape so we deselect this and go to our our our, our sections here right now you will see the existing elevation this one here and the proposed elevation both are same right but it should be different right it's not the same okay here it's same so select one of the section cross sections now contextual option will pop up and you say view group properties you select drop down and select the first one or directly the you know on that one so here you have you go to the sections uh sorry section views and here you have option for this change band set so click on these three dots and option will pop up so here as you can see existing elevation so this one is for existing elevation this one is for ground and finished ground level but and this one is offset but even on the finished ground level which surface is it is set to is you know the surface of the ground so if you just click on that this particular one it will have option you will have option to select the other surface so you just click this surface okay select it now you say okay and if you say apply you will see the difference you know you will see the difference you know you will have the surfaces so actually right now we have the levels at 10 meters intervals i will in later tutorial i will show you know how to customize these you know wherever you want it 
even at break points or at a certain intervals like one meter or two meter whatever you can set so okay now we have the surface two surfaces we have one for the corridor top you know this corridor, this corridor top and a ground surface now we can generate a volume report so we just select on any of these and you say compute materials you know compute materials here from the contextual and you have to this alignment okay this line group of this and this say okay here now existing surface so existing surface for this one is the existing surface is our surface right and the datum surface is our you know corridor okay actually you know when it is in fill okay so the top of the top of your road is uh, the reference surface to calculate you know but in the cut if it is the top of your road to calculate the volume then it is actually wrong so you have to create another surface as well which links to the bottom that i will show you in later video for this video let's keep it simple and we just selected these surfaces to compare with and say okay okay now oh, okay you will see the hats will appear okay you see the hats appears here this is you know in fill and when you have surfaces in cut the red is marked okay so this is marked. the thing i was talking about is you see this is actually taking the top surface so this is cut but actually we need to cut till the bottom of this one right so this is wrong we will see how to adjust it but at least you know the basic from this tutorial my target is to uh, let you you know make you familiar with the basics first okay just steps steps step by step okay so now we just select any any of this section you know and say generate volume report okay generate volume report and it will pop up a window again and say select alignment this also selected material list one and from here you can choose your you know whatever you know you want uh, the type of style you want i will keep it default for this tutorial and say okay even you can import export as you know xml report to the okay say let's like display xml report and say okay so it will open in your default browser as a report so here you see it will you know open as a report so from here zero zero it's nothing but when it reaches the 10 is 20 you have the you know cumulative net volume here okay fill volume actually it's in fill so from 0 to 20 how much is the fill will be displayed so that's all for this video you know so uh, hope you have uh, learned a few things in this video if you have then please like and uh, share with your friends subscribe to our channel and comment what uh, tutorial where you didn't understand what you know you want regarding the customizations i will i will i will talk about all of these customizations and uh, ultimately we will be able to create our own template customized template for civil 3d which you can use in future designs you know so everything basically everything in civil 3d is customizable you know with the styles and everything it's just logical you know so for this tutorial this much and see you guys in the next tutorial till then enjoy yeah.